little Kim mugshot. But also, too, I was like, I wonder if <laughs> I could find a Foxy Brown one. So I feel like, because, y'all, it's kind of crazy how they're definitely serving. Like, they're giving looks in their mugshots. Like, stop playing. You walk a queen. You always keep it. So I'm starting off this video doing my hair. So I'm going to give myself, like, a little trim or, like, a touch-up on my short hair. I have two things that I'm gonna use to cut my hair. So, and I actually cut it or trimmed it like the other day, but I feel like I need to take more off, especially like the back, cause it's not laying down properly. Cause my back grew out so much y'all. And I feel like the last, yeah, I, the last video that I had did on my hair, my hair has grown since then. Like, I don't know why my hair grows so fast. I mean, I'm not complaining, but like I can literally see my roots again. But I'm not going to bleach it. I'm going to wait a while to redo it. But my hair grows really, really fast. So so the main reason I'm doing this video, I need to like really shampoo my hair. It's been like probably like two days. I have to wash my hair like frequently. So I'm going to show you guys what I use to shampoo and condition my hair. But I'm going to start off with using this razor comb. I really like to use these. I don't know why, but like the quality of these like razor combs have went downhill. Even like the eyebrow razors like from the beauty supply store, I don't know what's going on, but like the quality of them has like really gone downhill. So I'm going to use this side first because there's like two sides with the razor. This is like a smaller side, but I'm going to use this longer side here to do the back. Usually, <laughs> this is like TMI, but usually I would have like no shirt on when I'm doing this because like the hair. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to be sharing my body care, like my current body care products too in this video because I've been wanting to do one, even like a skincare one. I actually filmed a, skin, a skincare video, like my updated skincare video, but why did I not upload it? I deleted it. It was something about it that I didn't like and I just wanted to redo it. And I plan on using my phone more often too. I'm actually using my phone like right now instead of my camera. Cause I just feel like it's more convenient. And I want to get like a new, I want to get a new MacBook. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my clippers. I'm using a number three. Yeah. I'm using a number three. And I'm just gonna go on this side first. Cause it's a lot longer. I didn't realize it was longer, like too long until I had styled it the day that I had trimmed my hair. But yeah. Oh, I forgot to wet this part. I had used some got to be glue on my edges and now it dried up, so. Okay, so I'm out the shower. This is what my hair looks like straight out of the shower. I have not done anything to it, either um, also to my skin, but I wanted to show you guys what I used. I used the Aussie Miracle Moist Shampoo. This is what it looks like. It has the avocado and um, jojoba oil. And this is the conditioner. So it's just like a pair, but I really like this Aussie shampoo and conditioner because it's definitely very, very moisturizing since I did bleach my hair. Like I really want my hair to be moisturized. And for my body um, wash, y'all, I definitely been trying to steer more so towards like the natural like body wash. So I did use the African Black Soap Body Wash. I've had the Shea Moisture one. 
um i used it all up but i didn't see it when i had went to cvs so i seen where they have their own so it's the beauty 360 brand but it's the african black soap body wash it has shea butter vitamin e oil in it as well but yeah you can compare it like it has it on the bottle where you can compare it to the shea moisture one i feel like this one is better y'all i don't know why the shea moisture one does smell good too but this one definitely has like a shea butter type of smell but it, it works really good i mean I've been using this like for my body wash, but I, I use like two body washes. So I have like this beauty bar that's in the shower, but it's actually by Palmer's. It's like for, um, to like fade dark marks or whatever. I don't have the box, but it's that soap. It's like a bar soap. It's called a complexion bar, I believe. But I've been really, really liking this Olay. Oh my God. I want to get the other one. Um, I think they have like three other ones, but this Olay body wash y'all, oh my God. This is a cleansing and brightening. So I got this basically to like, you know, brighten up my skin or whatever. But this has B3 with vitamin C in it. But it definitely gives you a glow and it smells so, so good, especially when you're in the shower. So I use this um, last just so I can have some type of scent basically. Because when you use like natural soaps, it's like kind of like you miss out on the scents and like the fragrances but i just use this because it does have some type of like skin benefits to it instead of just like a scented body wash basically because i feel like those break me out but yeah um it it says that it replenishes your skin moisture barrier it supports the skin's natural ph um and what else it has that vitamin b3 complex but I got it more so for like the vitamin C and then also to it, it helps like cleanse, but also to like brightens, like gives you like a glow. And it's definitely not lying, y'all. Like I love this soap. I'm gonna have to get some more of it, but I use it all the time. It's probably like right here now. For like my feminine wash, I switched over to, well, actually I'm just trying this out, but I was done with it. I'm not gonna repurchase this. There's like another one that I have that I got from off of Amazon, but I was just trying this out. It's the Walgreens brand Scent Free Feminine Cleansing Wash. It's dye-free pH balance. Um, it says that it's free from parabens. But I wanna try like different feminine washes, so that's why I just got this one, but it's not bad. Going into like body care, like what I used to moisturize, and y'all, I can definitely tell that Olay, like since I started using that, my skin has definitely been glowing, okay. But I also use um, the exfoliating gloves. I actually have a, what is it called? Like an African net sponge that should be coming today from Amazon. I ordered it yesterday and it was like this, um, like next day delivery. So yeah, I'll show you, well, I'll do like an updated skincare video and show you guys that one. But it's just like a regular African net sponge. And it's, it's really good to where you can um, wash your back. I've had one before, but I was using like a body brush, but I want to go back to the African net sponge. So that one should be coming today. And going into like body care, like how I've been treating my like dark marks. Like if I have like some type of breakout, which is like something that happened right here. And then I don't know what happened, but I was using like a bar black soap. And you know how it has like those little things in it? I don't know what it is, but apparently it has scratched me when I was like washing and I had this like cut, well, it wasn't really a cut, but like, I definitely had like a big scratch like all right here. But I'm gonna show you guys what I use like on my body to like help if I have like some type of breakout or whatever, like a dark mark, even like on my, um, my like shoulders and stuff. I'm trying to clear up my like dark marks or whatever. But I have been using this Hydrogen peroxide so it's just regular three percent hydrogen peroxide i believe they do have like a six percent but i use a three percent i do not dilute it because it does not irritate my skin i also been using this like on my face too y'all um to like fade my dark marks i need to moisturize my skin but yeah i've been using it um like on a cotton pad i just put some on this and then rub it in onto like the dark marks i've been putting it like on my chest too but that's just to help lighten my dark marks. And then I have been using some tea tree oil. 
I mix it in with my moisturizer. So I'll go in with like, I've been really using like coconut oil, just regular coconut oil. I'll mix the two together, but I put it more so like on my shoulders, like anywhere where I have like some type of breakout. I also been putting it on my face too, but I'll mix it in. Like I mix it together with my moisturizer. But lately I have just been using this red Fox Shea Butter y'all. This has definitely been keeping my skin like moisturized honestly, because nothing was really working. Like, I don't know what was going on, but hopefully my skin gets better since we're in spring. But yeah, I've been using this on my body. Um, I like to use this on my feet too, y'all, because that coconut oil, sometimes it don't be enough. And also too, sometimes I do go in with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This is really, really good too. But I notice like, I know if something does not work for me, like if I put it on my feet and then like later on, if like I'm still ashy, that means it don't work. But yeah, this is actually really good too. I don't use this every day. I put it more so like on my legs. Or like my arms and stuff but i try to put only like natural stuff like on my back area and like my neck chest area just so i won't like break out but this tea tree oil has definitely been like very very helpful to me i just started using this like incorporating into my skincare routine but it's definitely been helping i got this from walgreens actually it was like 13 dollars, but you could probably find it some like on amazon I was gonna order from off of Amazon, but I just didn't feel like waiting. So I just went to my local Walgreens and found that. Also too, sometimes I use like a toner to treat like my dark marks. I only use this though on my, like on my body. It's the Thayer's Blemish Clearing Toner, but it does have the lemon in it. So because it helps with like blemishes or whatever, I just feel like it will help you know, on my body. So I kind of use it on this. I don't really use it every day, like on my skin. Cause I feel like it breaks me out. Cause it has that salicylic acid for some reason. I don't know. My skin be like, like it'll go backwards when I use like salicylic acid on my skin, like every day. I can't use that toner every day. And also too, on my, um, my like chest area back and like shoulders, Sometimes I will use this Thayer's Blemish Clearing Pad. It has the witch hazel in it. But this has the, um, this is like lemongrass, but it's still like lemon. And this is a 2% um, salicylic acid. I only use this if I have some type of like breakout. And then I just, you know, rub it on my skin or whatever. But I don't use this every day. I do not like this on my skin, y'all. At one like my skin was like peeling. I don't know if I just use too much, but I don't use it every day. Like, it's no way I can use it every day because it'll dry my skin out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. One last thing, I just bought this. Um, I've had it, I've been using it for like a couple of days. And this is the Hero brand. It's like the same brand that makes those like Mighty Patches. But I got their lightning one. So it's a dark spot, dark spot brightening serum with vitamin C, um, niacinamide, and tranamexic acid i don't know how you say that but um yeah it's just like this little wand where you have to pump it out and then you roll it onto the dark mark y'all i had put it right here and right here it definitely helps to lighten up your um your dark marks but i feel like other you have to use other stuff too with it and also too y'all i just started incorporating <laughs> um sunscreen into my routine as well and i have seen a really big difference so yeah definitely um use your sunscreen because for a long time i didn't find i couldn't find like a really good sunscreen i'll show you guys the sunscreen that i use but it's like neutrogena clear face but yeah i definitely been incorporating that like every day into my skincare routine and it's definitely been helping but yeah that's pretty much for the body care stuff y'all i'm gonna go in and like do my hair and i'll probably come back to do like my makeup um when I get done, well, when my hair gets done drying. Okay, I'm back and this is the skincare portion. So I'm gonna share with you guys, um, basically like my skincare routine, but it's more so like a morning skincare routine, but it's like afternoon. So basically last night I had used a cleanser, right? And I feel like it's a really good cleanser. I'm not gonna mention the brand y'all cause they not paying me. So I'm not gonna mention it, but I did find it from off of TikTok. It's kind of like a, the brand is almost like Curology, which I've tried before. 
And yeah, I don't want to mention it because I'm not really sure, you know, about the results, but I did use that cleanser last night. But today I'm just going to use a hot rag just to go over my skin. Of course it's clean and I'm not going to reuse this. Like I don't reuse none of the, um, the rags that I use like on my face basically. So yeah, I just like to, um, use a rag with just water on it just to cleanse my skin because i feel like if i go in with a cleanser like it's that's like doing too much so yeah this is pretty much what works for me oh i'm wearing this y'all this is like literally my second time wearing this thing i don't wear it too often but it's like one of those um things like a headband that you wear to do like skincare i just didn't want to come up here with no like scarf on i just Something about that just really, um, you know, I'm like very cautious about it. Like I don't leave the house with a bonnet on y'all. We gotta like, well not we, cause I don't wear a bonnet outside. I swear I've never worn a bonnet outside and I can actually say that. I'm actually proud of myself for not wearing a bonnet outside. I just feel like we got like black women, stop wearing those bonnets outside y'all. Cause I knew it's, when Monique had mentioned that, y'all, a lot of people was mad, but I fully understood where she was coming from. And she's right. And I feel like the ones that was like coming up against her about the whole bonnet situation, they the ones who be wearing the bonnets outside. I just feel like it's real. It's just like giving them, if you know what I'm saying, them a reason to create like more designs. Cause this is why I can't find like a plain color bonnet. When I go into the beauty supply store, Cause they got different colors, styles. Cause they think it's like an accessory that you know black women wear when they're when they're outside. It's like they want to be matching, but no, we should not be wearing those bonnets outside, y'all. Or like a scarf. I will wear a baseball cap before I wear hats instead of a scarf or a bonnet. Cause like uh, -uh. <laughs> that was like my little mini rant on bonnets. Okay, next I like to go in with a. A cotton pad. I really like these. This is my first time buying the square ones. Usually I buy the the circled ones, but I don't like the ones that's like too cottony, if that makes sense. Like these are like the padded ones. I like these the better because like the other ones, if you having like, you know, the lint stuff you get on your face, I don't like that. I got these from CVS, but it's the um the basic cotton squares. I really like these. I'm gonna start buying these. And it's a lot that come in there. It's like 200, which is crazy. Like that's a lot. But next I'm gonna go in with um, this Witch Hazel. I just recently picked this up, but it's not my first time using Witch Hazel. I did show you guys the other, the Thayer's one, but it does have the, um, I'm not using the Thayer's one today because it has that salicylic acid in it. And I just feel like it's doing too much, you know, with my skin. So I just wanna keep it like really gentle. This is a oil-free uh, Witch Hazel toner. It says it gently cleanses and conditions pores. It's not drying and it's supposed to be for all skin types. But yeah, I got this from, from Walgreens. It's like the Walgreens brand. So I'm using this, but I just like to use this like to cleanse my skin basically. My skin, my skin was like peeling right here. I had to peel it off. I think I need to stop shaving my face, honestly, or like, I don't know. Cause I feel like every time I shave my face, my skin breaks out for whatever reason. I don't know, but I really want to shave my face. Like, I need to shave my mustache, honestly. Like, that's definitely a must for right now. Because I had seen it when I was, like, looking down. I was like, no. I need to shave that off real quick. But, yeah, that's pretty much what I do to, like, cleanse my skin. It's not really that much on here because I did put... Did I put something... Oh, this is probably like the moisturizer and stuff that I put on from like last night. Cause I usually I will wash my face. I'll do my skincare like in the shower sometimes, but it just depends on like what's going on with my skin. So next I'm going to shave my mustache real quick. Cause um definitely long overdue. Uh shave my mustache real quick. I can't really see. What's going? Yeah, it was thick. 
a little too thick like this was long overdue I did shave my face probably like a week ago or two weeks ago. And for some reason, like I be having like a lot of hair. For some reason, my hair was blonde right here. I'm like, what in the world happened? Like how did it even happen? I mean, I know I bleached my hair, but like why is my hair blonde right there on my face? Cause I didn't get, I didn't bleach my face. And I need to shave my underarms too. They're not that bad, y'all. I don't really get a lot of hair under, underneath my arms, but I do want to start waxing them. I have like a whole wax kit and I don't even use it. And I really want to, um, I think I'm going to get a Brazilian wax, y'all, um, next month. And I may vlog it if I can, but I never got a Brazilian wax before and I'm scared. Like, I don't know if I really want to do that, but I really want to. So I don't know, I may vlog that. So today for um, moisturizer, I really just been using petroleum jelly, y'all. But um, you know when I was mentioning about the, the tea tree oil? So sometimes I'll just go in and just like put about two drops of the tea tree oil, like this. Ooh, that was like more than two. I'm gonna have to wipe some of that off. Cause you're supposed to, um, I think you're supposed to dilute it, but that's why I like to mix it in with like a moisturizer. But I just rub it into my skin. And I really make sure I'm like massaging this into my skin. It smells so good. I love the smell of tea tree. It just smells like really clean. Oh my God. This actually feels like very therapeutic right now, but who that tea tree smells so good. Oh my God. And then I take it on my neck, of course. But yeah, that's pretty much what I use. And then lastly, I'm gonna use my sunscreen. I think I did mention a sunscreen part in the last clip. I didn't have it out cause it was in the bathroom and I was waiting for my window, well the mirror to like defog or whatever. But yeah, this is the new, sunscreen that I just got. I really want the black girl sunscreen y'all, but I'm gonna have to drive all the way to Target and I just don't feel like doing that. I had another Neutrogena um, sunscreen that I had got like last year, but I feel like it was breaking me out because they had like a, I'm not really sure what it was, but it was like mainly for like glowy skin or whatever. And I just felt like that was breaking me out. So I did get the Neutrogena clear face. I think I got this from Walmart, but it's breakout free, oil free sunscreen. So it's a SPF 30 and it does say that it will not cause breakouts. Um, also too, it says that it's water resistant. So I don't know how true that is cause I haven't been going swimming or nothing. I decided to put on some lashes cause this is like what I would usually do. I don't wear lashes like every day, but you know, when I want to look somewhat put together, I'll just throw on some lashes. So these are the lashes that I really, really like. Um, this is the Kiss. Y'all, Kiss has like the best, lashes they got the best press on nails it's just like stock because i always buy something of kiss when i go to the the drugstore so yeah this is the kiss um lash couture look extension so basically it's supposed to make it look like you got a full set of lashes um this one has the dcj curls um i have the set What's the name of this? So it's a volume full set. They have different ones though, y'all. So you would have to like go and look at them. I think I did share like another kind that I had. I'm not really sure if this is the same one. I don't think it is. Cause I believe that one had like an actual name to it. But yeah, this is like the volume set. So it definitely looks like you have on a full set of lashes. But yeah, I really like this, um, this set right here. And it comes with one, two, three, four four sets so i just started using this set y'all so they last a long time because like it's gonna be like a little while before i even get to this last set so it's you definitely get your money's worth if you do wear lashes but i always reuse my lashes because i'm not about to throw them away 
because there's nothing wrong with them. Like I just be wearing them, you know, for a short amount of time. And I don't be wearing like eye makeup either. I haven't really done any eye makeup. So it's not like I have to clean them off. But I also picked up, I just looked into my drawer. Y'all be having like random stuff, but I'm trying to remember when I picked this up. <laughs> but it was like recently, okay, I got these from Family Dollar, but it's the Minx Effect. It's by Kiss, of course, but it's, um, it's supposed to give you like a high volume look. It's a bold collection. This one is in a style audacious, but I really wanted like a thicker, um, a thicker lash. Like if I do plan on doing like a makeup look or whatever, because the ones I did have, they had made a mistake and fell on the floor, y'all. So I was like, they done. Cause I don't, mm -mm. I was not about to clean them things. So I was like, that's just an excuse for me to buy more lashes. Of course, I'm going to use this Kiss Lash, um, the strip lash adhesive is the black kind. I used to use this a lot, but then I stopped using it and I went back to it just recently. Actually, when I had picked up these lashes, I had borrowed this lash glue. But yeah, I'm just gonna apply some lashes real quick. I did not think I needed to shave my eyebrows. I swear my eyebrows be going quick too. I could have sworn I just shaved my eyebrows, but um, I just kind of did this one. But usually I just go underneath the bottom. I don't really mess with the top, but I do get this part right here. Cause mine tends to like, I don't know, it creates like this triangle. I don't even know what type of shape it is, but like, I don't like it. So I like to, mine to look more square if that makes sense like because this one right here of course they're not twins but i want this one to look you know similar to this one and i feel like this one is like a thicker brow too but yeah usually when i do shade my um eyebrows i just do like lightly underneath to create that like you know cleaned up effect or whatever but yeah i'm gonna do this one Okay, so next for my brows, I usually don't fill in my brows, only if like I feel like it, but I have not been really doing too much with my brows, but I do use brow products. So currently I'm using this um, Wet n Wild Mega Clear Mask. It's like a, yeah, it's like a mascara. It's for your lashes and your brows, but I only use it for my brows. And then I have this um, Wet n Wild Brow, Excessive. I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a brow shaping gel, which it kind of has a color to it. It's like a, um, what color is this? It's just brown, but I feel like it's more so like on the light brown side. But yeah, I really want to buy the um, e.l.f. Brow Lift. It's like a pomade, y'all. I need to find it. I feel like it's probably only going to be at Target, honestly, in my area. I may go to Target like this weekend. I don't know. But I really want to try that brow lift. So yeah, this is pretty much what I do. I'm taking a clear one first. Usually I'll just go in with like the brown one. But I kind of just push my brows up. And it does give it somewhat of a hold. I feel like this is my good brow. I don't know what's going on with this one. Like, Anyway, but I'm kind of going for like a more bushy brow. I just feel like it looks better with my short hair, honestly, like instead of like a skinny brow. But next I'm going to go in with this, the Wet n Wild Brow um, Shaping Gel. So yeah, I just take like a little bit. And I'm not really even sure if it really gives me like somewhat of a color. I feel like it does. Because when I do make a mistake and like wipe my eyebrow, I do see like some type of color, but like it's very subtle. If I was doing like a full face of makeup, I would just go ahead and just do my brows because it shapes my face or whatever. But I don't think I'm putting on makeup today. So probably not gonna do that. I do have like another brow thing I was gonna show y'all. So yeah, I had got this e.l.f. one. It's the Wow Brow. 
this is like when I had first lightened my hair and I was trying to find some like brow products, but I didn't know how this one was gonna do. So I was like, okay, let me just go ahead and buy it. But this is the Neutral Brown. It's the um, Elf Brow Wow. That's what it looks like. It's really small, but it actually has like these fibers on it, which I'm not really sure about. I'm gonna just go ahead and put some on just so y'all can see it. Like you have to be like really close to even see the fibers. But I feel like it does kind of like give you some type of like brow. It makes it a little bit more bushy. I'm not really sure what the fibers are, but like it is doing something. Okay, so I'm sitting on my couch right now and I've been really like plotting and planning on redoing, like I want to put some wall art in my living room. So, I've been like coming up with these ideas and recently I just came across, like it was random too. I had came across um, Brandon Blackwood's Instagram. Well, I've been following him, but I haven't really been on my like beauty page or whatever, my Instagram. I actually, I'm starting over my whole feed. I only got two reels up there, but definitely make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's Queen Z. It's with three E's with the queen part. But of course the link will be, the link to my Instagram will be in the description box below, along with my email as well. But um, yeah, randomly I had seen this picture of his like home decor, y'all. Oh my God. I definitely got inspired because he had like a little, um, it was like a, it wasn't like a big gallery wall, but I really like how he had put it together, y'all. His like home decor was like on point. It's like top tier, okay? So I seen where he had, y'all, I literally just printed this out because I had it saved on my phone, but I'm trying to figure out like what size I want to do. So I'm kind of torn in between the little Kim mugshot. <laughs> I know for some people this be, this looks crazy, but why would you have a little Kim mugshot picture on your wall? Like as home decor, but why not? I just love different and random stuff like that, y'all. But when I seen that on his wall, I was like, oh my God, like I'm just, I just got like super. So surprisingly, I ran out of storage on my phone, but I'm torn in between the Little Kim mugshot, but also too, I was like, I wonder if <laughs> I can find a Foxy Brown one. So I feel like, cause y'all, it's kind of crazy how they're definitely serving, like they're giving looks in their mugshots, like stop playing. So yeah, I got the Foxy Brown one. I'm not really sure. I think I'm gonna do both, honestly, but the Little Kim one is definitely a must. Like I was super inspired by that um, Brandon Blackwood post. If I can find the picture, y'all, I'll probably just go to his Instagram, screenshot it, and I'll sit it, put it like over here somewhere. But y'all, I just could not get over that. I was like, wow. But um, what I plan on doing, I want to put some fashion, like wall art in my in my home, but I want to do it like above my couch or whatever. So I bought the Vogue magazine. It's the one with Kim K on it, y'all. But it says Kim's New World, so. <laughs> so yeah, I plan on um, tearing out some pieces because I was looking in it, y'all, and I just feel like this is like super, um, it's super creative if you can just like add color because I want to add some color into my home, basically. It's like very plain, like the walls are plain. But like this piece right here, y'all, like you can actually frame this. It's like the perfect size to put in a frame. But yeah, and I plan on spray painting my black picture frames. I want to go out and get some more, like some white ones. I want to spray paint them white or just buy some white ones, honestly. But I want to do like different sizes for like my gallery wall art. But yeah, this magazine has like some really good pieces, y'all. And I want to, I want it to give like fashion, black girl luxury, but art too. Like, I, I'm super excited about um, adding this to my wall but even this i'm just gonna show y'all like some of the pictures like so y'all can get kind of like an idea of what i'm talking about but i feel like this would definitely add some color like some art onto my wall without doing the most like i don't have to spend that much money but i wanted to give black girl luxury like just fashion home decor see this picture right here this is like a really good one too but I want it to be, you know, women of color as well. I just want some blackness and luxury stuff on my wall. But even this too, 
like this picture. There was like another one too. I cannot find it right now. Yeah, like this Gucci one as well, like this. I love this, like the colors. I'm going more so for like the color, just like having like a pop of color on my wall, but it's still giving like what it's supposed to give basically. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video here, y'all. But let me know which one I should do. Should I do both? Like should I do the Little Kim mugshot or the Foxy Brown one? I don't know. I seen Nicki Minaj too. I might do that one too, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, definitely feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content with a slash of DIY. I may film the DIY um, gallery wall art to y'all just to give you guys some inspo on home decor. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I wanna play. I wanna play.